Pisces. Let's get straight into it. This is for November 28th through the 30th. Let's close the month off with some positive energy. I'm going to first start off with messages from your spirit guides. And then I'm going to do a spread. And I wanted to do more so a proactive spread instead of just identifying problems. Let's speak about what we can work on to shift those energies. So let's get into it. Pisces, what's the healing mantra they need to hear for the 28th through the 30th? Bring in positive energy forth in this reading. What do they need to hear? So we have growing beyond guilt. And the back of this card reads, it says, it couldn't have happened any other way. Okay. So once you have the understanding of things happen for a reason, you shift from this perspective of kind of feeling like, well, dang, if this happened this way, then this could have been like this. Or like you shift from the mindset of just focusing on alternative outcomes when you realize that everything happens divinely. Everything happens according to plan. Also, this is making sure with this card coming up that you remove yourself from guilt, from actions that you've taken in the past, even the negative ones, because the things that you have done, you do have to accept it for what it is and not feel guilty about it, but learn from those experiences. Guilt only comes up when you're not in forgiveness of self. And with this energy, spirit is saying you need to make sure that you're forgiving yourself for things that you've been through, things that you've experienced and you may, you know, tend to beat yourself up for, even though it's not your fault. And even the things that you could, you know, technically deem as being your fault, there's a need for you to understand that there's a lesson in everything and that you can shift from that energy. It doesn't have to hold you captive. It doesn't have to hold you back unless you allow it to by subscribing to guilt. Okay. What you feed into what you pay attention to literally pay attention to with energy your energy is currency that's what you exasperate or make bigger in your life and some of you could sometimes feed into just feeling bad or beating yourself up for things that you can't change now but getting into the reading the present energy here I have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is positive. This is a positive shift in energy. Also, with this Wheel of Fortune, this just symbolizes change as a whole. Now, this change could happen for better or for worse. I'm really feeling when it comes to like personal relationships, there may be some people that you're going to start to identify as being snakes or people that you can't necessarily trust. OK, this could be people that you tell your business and then they start telling your business to other people. Or like people just start coming out the woodworks doing things that's kind of questionable and they just kind of like drop themselves off where you've already been kind of questioning, you know, certain people's motives, certain people's intentions. It's like they kind of just reveal it on their own, which is like the funny thing. <laughs> if you just sit back and allow things to kind of just show you uh, what's going on. Um... This is luck changing around for you. So where you may have been, again, experiencing a lot of delays, it's like things start to kind of shift. Now, when it comes to the overall theme, I have the judgment card in reverse. So again, this is very much connected to the energy in the first card that we pulled, speaking about guilt. The judgment card in reverse, this is like bad decisions, decisions that are like not made or were made, I guess, um, in accordance of like, again, being bad decisions. And with the judgment card here, the theme, it's about forgiving yourself for the things that you've done and more so like moving beyond it and also like facing the music I'm hearing when it comes to things that you've been just avoiding, you've been putting off to the side. This could be conversations. This could be um, something in regards to a living situation. It literally could be anything, but it's like something you've been kind of just pushing to the side or just have been very delayed in making a choice in spirit is like 
encouraging you during this time frame to get your mind right <laughs> and, and act on act on making this this final decision. I'm also hearing something surrounding like making an impulsive decision, making sure during this time that any impulsive decisions that you feel led to make that you really think them through. And there may be a lesson that may be surrounding that. This could be something that's said impulsively, something that's done impulsively that you can't go back from. This really feels like more so like an interaction though with someone. Now what's hidden below the surface? I have the six of wands. Okay, go. So with the six of wands, this is the energy of you guys tapping more and more into success. Right now you might not be able to see it, but you're on the brink of success in whatever you've been focusing your energy into. Okay, the more, like I was saying in the beginning, the more you feed your energy into something, the more that it becomes a bigger thing. And a lot of you have been focused on a very specific like financial plan, or you've been focused on doing certain things that are like personal goals to you. The six of wands or the energy of success is very personable to the person at hand. Everybody's definition of success is different. But with this, it's like, you guys are about to tap into that. Okay. Also secretly, somebody may be really wanting your attention, like doing little desperate things to get your attention or to kind of like drain you of your energy. So yeah, this could be a fire sign or really anyone, somebody who's very aggressive, somebody who's angry at you. Now the advice with the three of wands this is looking at the future, the long term. This is making plans in alignment with the long term and what you would like to see manifest within the next three months, three years, shoot, next three weeks. This is making sure that you have your eyes set on the future, though, and not allowing yourself to, again, kind of succumb to guilt or focusing on things that you can't change within the past. And within your own actions or other people's uh, way of treating you. Now, what I see for the possible challenge with the justice card, this could be legal stuff. You could have like some legal stuff that's kind of like uh, dragging out a little bit and it's just getting aggravating. This could also be like a marriage, a legal contract with someone like a music contract uh, a business contract, something with the LLC. Hmm. This could also be a Libra. Also, your energy may be all over the place. You have some days where your stuff is on track, like you're going to the gym, you're, you're, you have like a set routine. And then other days, it's like you're completely thrown off. You're unable to, to focus. You may know exactly what may be causing it. You just may be needing to make a couple of sacrifices here to get your energy right. But what's ahead? I have the Six of Discs or the Six of Pentacles. Um, so this is you striving for personal balance, especially within your relationships. You want reciprocation. You want to feel like what you're pouring into your relationship, whether that's financially, um, physically, um, whatever this may be, whatever you're pouring into the relationship, you want it to be poured back into you as well. Okay. You could also be looking for a job that's more in alignment with reciprocation like the amount that you may pour out there you may have a certain price that you would like to to be paid for it and you could be feeling like as an entrepreneur you're not getting a paid enough for the amount of you know work that you're putting out there so you could be trying to develop a strategy to get all your coins okay this is like wanting like i said more of a balance where it counts Especially if you've been working hard and diligently and you're, you're wanting to work smarter, not harder. 
or like you've been giving it all you got with the relationship and you don't want to feel like you're just giving, giving, giving and nothing's being reciprocated back, especially with the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn individual. I'm seeing that. But yeah, that's what I see. Um, I hope you enjoyed and you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, and I'll see you later.